Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're brand new here and today I have a huge Bama haul. I have to admit that I am literally crazy and addicted to the brand. Hopefully this video will be helpful to those of you who are looking to buy your first jacket or your first t-shirt and uh, I guess help you choose between the materials and the sizes. So I'm going to start off with their t-shirts. I already have these two from my previous haul. These are just the regular t-shirts with the short sleeves. I have it in the black and the white. Uh, these are 100% cotton with the three buttons on the shoulder and the gold foiling. And by the way, I got everything in size 34 for the top. So I added three new tanks. They're all 100% cotton. This one is the white one with the crest. It's not raised or anything. It's just flat and it's printed on the cotton and it has a little bit of the shimmer details on it. I also got their black one and their red one all in their muscle tees. They all have a rounded hem like this. So the only bottom that I got is actually a skirt. So this is a tweed skirt and there is a zipper closure on the back and two slip pockets on each side. Um, this is more of a bodycon skirt I think. It's high-waisted definitely. I love the button details on it. So you guys already know that I own this black one. So this is just their classic one and I'm really happy to be adding these two new ones to my collection. So I've got a pink one and I've got a red one. I also have these two to show you guys. I've got a navy one with a one button closure. So this is the short version with the navy and one button closure and I've also got this long one. I didn't end up keeping these two jackets, but I still wanted to show them so that I can compare them for you. The collars are different on these, so this is a shawl uh, lapel and the shorter version has a peaked lapel. I'm normally an extra small or a double extra small in uh, US sizing or like size zero or double zero. For reference, I am five for 162 centimeters. The quality of the cotton on the Balmain t-shirts is excellent. It's thick but not so thick that you feel like you're wearing a cardboard but it's not so thin that you feel like it's gonna you know just break apart if you wash it once or twice. On the care label it says to hand wash in cold water and air dry. So basically I try to follow as closely as possible. I just hand wash these uh, with a very very mild detergent, I do use an organic all natural detergent that is locally made so I'll just link that down below in case you guys are interested and I just line dry everything. Now um, it hasn't shrunk on me and honestly even if it did, I wouldn't have noticed it because as I said earlier, these t-shirts are rather generous in sizing. At least for me, I feel like even with the size 34, there was enough room for it to shrink. When it's 100% cotton, I think there's always maybe a little tendency that it might have just, you know, changed a little bit, but not to the point where I noticed a huge difference. So to me, in terms of shrinking, I didn't really notice it as much or at all. <laughs> Balmain does make this jacket in several different materials and I guess depending on the material, even the sizing can differ a little bit. I have tried a version where it's I think 60% viscose. Um, so basically it just feels like a almost like a, it's not even a tweed but it's kind of like a thicker material. Uh, so for that one, I tried it in a size 36 and it still fit me quite well. It was definitely boxier and roomier, uh, so it was actually a little bit easier to button up and layer. Like I said, just depending on the material, uh, you might need to even size up or size down. My personal preference is to get the 100% wool one. I think this material is the best material in terms of keeping its shape but also not be too bulky and still feel quite breathable and warm at the same time. Interestingly, even within the same fabric, I notice a difference between the seasonal pieces and the classic pieces. The version with the buttons where it's a lion head, they're actually tighter than the ones with the new button. You see my black one has a lion head, and then my pink one as well as the red one 
has this button. And depending on the fit on you, it might make a huge difference because for me, when I wear the pink one and the red one, I can button up pretty easily. Whereas with this black one and the blue one, which you'll see, even though I can button them up, they they're not easy to button up and also the shoulders seem tighter as well comment down below to let me know what you think or if you've experienced the same thing but regardless of all this i still went with a size 34 in the black one it just depends on your body type and uh you probably know your body best so for me i always have to make sure that my shoulders fit because usually i don't really have an issue with my bust area i'm not that full chested um waist wise like i said i am more of a straighter type of uh, body uh, when i say straight or rectangle it doesn't mean that i'm a rectangle it just means that in terms of proportions with uh my bust waist and hip area they are very close in size whereas for someone who is an hourglass shape or a pear shape then they tend to have a smaller waist compared to their hips and also it depends on your own preference do you tend to like to layer? Do you tend to want to close your jacket? Uh, do you not care if you don't close your jacket? Um, do you like it when your shoulder and armpit area are on the tighter side? Does it bother you? Uh, so all these things will factor in the sizing that you get. Obviously it's just a number, it doesn't even really matter. I am happy to take a 36 if it actually looks better on me. The other thing that I also look at is sleeve length. For whatever reason, even though I am 5'4", I have very short arms compared to some of the friends that I have that are shorter than me but they have longer arms than me. So <laughs> it's very strange. Between the size 34 and size 36, the difference in sleeve length is very minimal. It's almost about just a centimeter or less maybe, but it makes such a huge difference for me because even with the size 34, um, it almost covers my knuckle. So the size 36 will cover my, my knuckle. And when I say knuckle, I mean like the front knuckle here. Um, the size 34 just barely, barely grazes my knuckle and then the size 36 will just cover my knuckle. So I know these are things that you can tailor and obviously if you need to go up a size and tailor, do it. This is how the skirt looks on me, the tweed skirt. Doesn't it look amazing guys? Obviously I can wear any type of top, it doesn't have to be a bowman. The tweed is uh, warmer so I can probably still pull it off even in the winter. I'll probably just need some tights uh, or just go from car to door uh, if, you know, if it was really cold outside. But it looks amazing and this t-shirt too, it looks amazing. Like you can see, the fit is still... Um, it's still kind of relaxed on me. It's not tight fitting at all. There's still a lot of room. No, it's not too tight fitting or anything like that, uh, even here on the shoulder area. So it fits me well, that's why I didn't think that it uh, made any difference after washing. Uh, obviously, if it's already too tight fitting for you, then maybe size up. Because uh, I, I feel like these t-shirts are cut so well that even if you size up, it will still look great on you. And if you're worried about the length being too short, then size up as well. So this is how the white t-shirt looks on me. I think it looks amazing with this skirt. This is how the muscle tee is looking on me. I love it so much with this skirt especially. I feel like this skirt actually makes this top work. Because normally, I'm not a big fan of muscle tees especially if you don't like your arms i mean my arms are okay but they're not that tone or anything like that these types of t-shirts i feel like they're they look they just look better when worn tucked in i find uh, that's just my opinion i feel like it it's it doesn't make it as casual here's how it looks like with the black one i mean you guys get the idea they're just different colors uh this is one of my favorite looks because it's so sleek and uh, black is one of my favorite colors to wear and uh, like I said, I feel like this t-shirt looks best tucked in and I really feel strongly about this. Uh, it looks amazing together with the gold foiling. I've already shown all my previous t-shirts with this skirt so I thought I would show you with some shorts because uh, most likely I'll be wearing this version of the, of the t-shirts more in the summer. So again, it looks great, tucked in. I love this red color, that's why I couldn't say no to it. Uh, these ones are 501 Levi's. I'm wearing a size 25. Uh, it's a great fit actually, it's still pretty roomy and I can eat in those, but it looks great. It's actually uh, really well fitted right here in the hip area, which I love. It, 
gives me really nice shape and I just love the look so much. It's so good, right? I feel like I'm set for the year in terms of staples. This is how it would look like if you didn't tuck it in. So the hem is just like this. I personally think that it's, it looks better tucked in, but the hem on this one is quite nice though. If you were to choose between the two, I would still recommend the one with sleeves. But if you already have a few of them and you want something different, which was my case, I've decided to add three of these. Plus the collar is like this, which I think looks nicer than this trim. This, this to me definitely looks more casual than this. So that's what I recommend. And also I did notice the same thing happening even on the t-shirts. So this one has this button here, which I think it's their newer buttons. My black sleeveless one actually has this line head button and this line head button is like this underneath so i think they actually made improvements on the newer ones because on this one see it's covered even on this one which is the new button it's covered so um yeah i really did notice the difference and also uh this black one here which is with the line head is slightly tighter as well so here's the black one i don't know if you guys can tell it is definitely tighter than the pink one at least i can feel it it feels tighter in the shoulder area but it's not so much that i cannot wear it um it's still my size even the waist is tighter also i can still button it like i said i can still do it it's just definitely still tighter than the pink and the red one that i have but yeah, this is my first Balmain jacket. I recommend always buying your most warm color first and then add more other colors afterwards. So that's why I always go with black first and then every other color afterwards. Um, yeah, the black is just classic, amazing with the gold buttons. This one I tend to wear open just cause, you know, I, I can breathe and I can eat. But yeah, I love this jacket so much. This jacket made me fall in love with the brand. Well, this is the red shorter version um, like I said these ones they are cut a little bit looser uh, it's so much easier to button this one up and they, they fit almost the same uh, lengthwise in terms of the sleeves they're exactly the same but I feel that even the shoulders are slightly more relaxed just a very very slight difference but you can definitely feel it because it's not as tight as the black one and the blue one that I have um, it fits amazing. I love the red color between this one and the longer version. I'm having such a hard time deciding whether I should keep the longer version too because it's exactly the same color, just the fit is different. Um, so I'm almost wondering whether I need the other one. But here's the pink one. I mean, isn't the color amazing? This one also fits perfectly. It's a little bit more relaxed at the waist even, so it's so easy to button up. Uh, the sleeve length, everything is perfect. The shoulders are slightly more relaxed. It's not as tight as my black one. If I put it side by side, the black and this one, this one is definitely a little more relaxed. This one and the red one is more relaxed. But that's why I couldn't say no to this pink one either. It just looks amazing. This color is so flattering actually. Um, and it's not white, even though I like white as well. Um, between the white and this pink, I almost can't choose because they're both amazing, but I mean the pink was on sale. The main difference that I'm noticing more for this one and the black one that I have is, is buttoning it. Um, it's a lot tighter on these ones. Like, depending on whether I ate or not, I almost feel like I can't button it up. I'm almost wondering whether I prefer the six button look more than this simple plain one. Um, just in the long term, I'm just thinking out loud. Let me know what you think down below, whether I should keep this one or not. The sleeves, obviously too long. It's covering even my front knuckle here. But otherwise, it's still a very smart jacket. Um, I think it looks amazing. The funny thing is that often when I actually edit my videos and I look at myself trying on the clothes, Sometimes even though when I'm not sure about them, uh, I end up liking it and keeping them anyway because uh, I don't know, it just looks so good when I style them. So yeah, that's how it looks like with my bag as well. 
Uh, this jacket will obviously look great with a white bag or even like a red bag. Um, red and white just go so well together. To me, they're neutrals and um, yeah, I love the color red too. So what do you guys think? I, I think it looks amazing. I definitely need the help of the heels for this longer jacket. How it would look like with a white bag because uh, that's probably how I would end up wearing it also. I think it looks amazing. I mean, I don't know. I think it looks amazing. That's why I'm really, really tempted to, to just keep it. <laughs> yeah. The overall look is definitely more boxy and straight, like the cut itself is straighter. But you guys also know that I like uh, an oversized and relaxed look sometimes. Uh, I mean, wearing these other ones with the peak lapel uh, and the cinched in waist, they're really beautiful and very, very smart looking. But I don't know, you don't always want to wear something tight fitting and I don't know, sometimes I feel like having a jacket that's more relaxed is also nice to have. The sleeves are really really long on these ones. Uh, they're exactly the same size but these definitely definitely covers my knuckles. Almost to the point where I feel like I want to hem them but like I said, I hate hemming things. I hope I'm not the only one, I just, I just really don't like it. Alright, I think that's a wrap for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I hope you guys have a great day and week ahead of you, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye!